In a world where the line between survival and stress blurs, a journey begins. Have you ever wondered why personal growth and healing bring discomfort? This age-old question leads us on a path less traveled, into the unknown and unpredictable. Imagine a scene. You're nestled in a warm room, cocooned in a blanket, sipping hot cocoa. Outside, the world is a frozen, treacherous unknown. Suddenly, you're asked to step out of this sanctuary. This is the essence of change, leaving the warmth for the cold, trading the known for the unknown. It's a path not easy, not comfortable, but utterly necessary. But delve deeper, and you'll find two kinds of discomfort. One, born of survival, is essential, keeping us alive in the face of danger. Imagine wandering in a dark, foreboding forest, a rustle in the bushes sending your heart racing, a primal response to a potential threat. This is the discomfort of survival. Now picture a different scene, a quiet room, the simple ticking of a clock. Yet, it triggers anxiety, a racing heart, an unfocused mind. This is the discomfort of imbalance, a maladaptive response to a harmless sound. It's this habitual, unnecessary reaction we must conquer. As we embark on this transformative journey, the challenge is to differentiate, to know when to react out of necessity and when to respond out of habit. The goal isn't to eliminate discomfort, but to understand and manage it, to harness it as a tool for growth and transformation. In this adventure of self-discovery, we navigate the complex terrain of personal evolution, where every step outside the comfort zone is a leap towards healing. Welcome to the journey of change. Are you ready to step outside? Are you aware of your patterns of thought and behavior? Self-awareness is like a flashlight, illuminating the dark corners of our minds. It's the tool that allows us to identify our habits, beliefs, and responses that are so deeply ingrained in us that they've become automatic. It's the first step to understanding ourselves and our actions better. But why is it so important to be self-aware? Well, imagine driving a car with your eyes closed. You're likely to crash, aren't you? Similarly, when we're not aware of our thoughts and behaviors, we're driving our lives blindfolded, likely to crash into the same problems and obstacles over and over again. More often than not, we're creatures of habit. We go through our days on autopilot, repeating the same patterns of thought and behavior without even realizing it. These patterns may have served us well in the past, but they can become a hindrance when they no longer align with our goals and aspirations. Here's where self-awareness comes into play. It allows us to catch ourselves in the act of repeating these old patterns. It's like a mirror, reflecting back to us our own actions and thoughts, enabling us to see if they're serving us or holding us back. But self-awareness isn't just about identifying these patterns, it's about making a conscious decision to choose differently each time we catch ourselves in these old thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. It's about saying, I see you old pattern, and I choose not to follow you this time. It's about breaking free from the chains of habit and taking the driver's seat in our lives. And yes, this can be uncomfortable. It's like stepping into an unfamiliar territory without a map or a compass. But it's also liberating. It's the key to personal growth and transformation. It's about embracing the unfamiliar and finding a way to self-regulate and change our state from within. Ever thought of discomfort as a hallmark of genius? This intriguing idea comes from Dr. Joe Dispenza, a distinguished neuroscience researcher who invites us to rethink what being a genius really means. He proposes a surprising twist. Genius isn't about sailing through life effortlessly or relying on inborn talents. It's actually about embracing the unease of the unknown, challenging our set ways, and finding a strange comfort in discomfort. So what does embracing discomfort really entail? It's not about seeking pain or wallowing in hardship, rather, it's about acknowledging that discomfort is an integral part of evolving and growing. It signals that we're stepping out of our comfort zones, leaving behind what's familiar and safe. This is the cradle of genius. By venturing into uncharted territories, we unlock doors to innovation, creativity, and profound transformation. However, this journey isn't a walk in the park. It demands emotional intelligence and the ability to self-regulate. Mastering discomfort involves a deeper awareness of our thoughts, emotions, and actions, and consciously choosing a new path whenever we find ourselves slipping into old habits. This is where true genius lies, in using discomfort not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone for growth, a springboard for change. 
It's about transforming those moments of uncertainty into rich opportunities for learning and evolving. It's about becoming aware of our thoughts, feelings and behaviors, and choosing something different each time we catch ourselves falling back into old patterns. This is the genius in discomfort. As we get better at navigating our emotions, we start to reshape our realities in thrilling, unexpected ways. We become not just participants in our lives, but the designers, crafting our futures with intent and imagination. So the next time you encounter discomfort, don't view it as a setback or a flaw. See it as a mark of genius, a clear sign that you're on a transformative journey. Remember, mastering our emotions is the first step in truly mastering our lives. How do you approach your challenges? Challenges are part and parcel of life. They are the stepping stones that lead us towards personal growth and self-improvement. But the way we approach these challenges can make all the difference. Consider the idea of approaching challenges from a greater level of consciousness. What does this mean? It's about being fully present and aware in the moment. It's about being cognizant of your thoughts, feelings, and actions, and understanding how they interact in response to a challenge. There's a certain balance that needs to be struck here. On one hand, we need to be relaxed in the heart. This means letting go of fear, stress, and anxiety, those emotions that often hold us back and prevent us from taking on challenges head on. By being relaxed in the heart, we allow ourselves to approach challenges with a sense of calm and composure. On the other hand, we need to be awake in the brain. This means being mentally alert and focused. It's about analyzing the situation, brainstorming solutions, and making decisions based on logic and reason. Now, imagine a balance between these two states. Imagine being relaxed enough to not let fear inhibit your actions, yet awake enough to make rational, thought-out decisions. This balance enables us to rise above our challenges and turn them into opportunities for growth. It's not always easy to find this balance. It requires practice and self-awareness. It requires us to step out of our comfort zones and face our fears. But once we do, we unlock a whole new realm of possibilities. So, the next time you face a challenge, remember to approach it from a greater level of consciousness. Find that balance between being relaxed in the heart and awake in the brain. Use your challenges as stepping stones towards personal growth and self-improvement. A greater level of consciousness and balance can help us rise to our challenges. What if embracing discomfort could lead to new possibilities? Now this isn't a question we typically ask ourselves. Often we avoid discomfort, seeking out the familiar and predictable. But according to Dr. Joe Dispenza, there's a profound value in discomfort. It's the seed from which personal growth and transformation can sprout. When we step out of our comfort zones, we're stepping into the unknown. It can be scary, yes, but it's also where the magic happens. It's where we break free from the constraints of our old personalities and personal realities. It's where we start to forge new paths, discover new facets of ourselves, and ultimately, change our destiny. The key, as Dr. Dispenza suggests, is not to shun this discomfort, but to embrace it. Embrace it as a sign that you're breaking away from old patterns. Embrace it as an indication that you're choosing something different, something better. Embrace it as a testament of your bravery to venture into uncharted territories. But how do we do this? How do we embrace something that's inherently uncomfortable? The answer lies in self-regulation and change from within. It's about mastering our emotions, finding balance, and approaching challenges from a greater level of consciousness. It's about being relaxed in the heart, yet awake in the brain. Remember, discomfort isn't a punishment, it's a push. It's a push towards growth, towards evolution, towards becoming the best version of ourselves. It's a push towards a new destiny, a new reality that we get to shape and mold. As Dr. Dispenza puts it, genius is being uncomfortable and being okay with it. It's recognizing that discomfort is a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. It's understanding that discomfort is not an end, but a beginning. A beginning of something new, something exciting, something extraordinary. So next time you feel discomfort, remember it may just be a sign of growth and a change in your destiny. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery and growth. We've delved into the importance of self-awareness, the genius in discomfort, how we rise to challenges, and the power of embracing discomfort for personal growth. It's been a journey, hasn't it? A journey where discomfort isn't a roadblock but a stepping stone. A journey where discomfort is a sign of growth, a sign of evolution, a sign of becoming the best version of ourselves. It's not always easy, but remember, it's by stepping out of our comfort zones that we're able to shape and mold a new, exciting reality. So we encourage you to continue embracing discomfort in your own life. 
Share this journey with others who might benefit from it. Remember, discomfort is not your enemy but a sign of growth. Thank you for watching.